Hello, welcome to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy and Jules. Right now we're reviewing The Forever Purge. Love Forever. these. Love every single one of these from the first one. I have to watch them all. I've seen all of them too. Woo! Rated R, of course. Let's talk about first who is in this one. Okay, we have Anna de la Reguera. Mm -hmm. She's in Army of the Dead that just mm -hmm. recently came out. And also you know her from Narcos. Love Narcos. Um, Tina Huerta. Mm -hmm. Josh Lucas. You'll know him from Ford vs. Ferrari and Glory Road. Mm -hmm. Cassidy Freeman. Will Patton. Levin Rambin. Alejandro Eda. And Gregory Zaragoza. Woo! Purge. We know there is crazy murder, but tell us what's going on in the Forever Purge. It's just like the title says. It's forever. <laughs> They're not stopping. They don't want to stop. Today's day and age with social media and everything, you can put something out there like that and sometimes it just catches on and somebody said, hey, F this. We're going to continue with this purge because we like it. And this is America. It's America. America. So <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to mention other things in the news where people decided to become lawless and go, you know, storm particular places. But anywho, this is what, what happens when evil is unchecked. And yeah. this is a rule of thumb for every country, anybody in any nation. It doesn't matter when evil is unchecked. It eventually spills over into your home. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you ever participated in it, but evil left unchecked is going to spill into everybody's home and it's going to affect everybody. And this is what happens in here. They're like, what? one day, who's going to stop us? Purge used to be one day. Says who? And like you say, at this point, they've gotten a whole, not even a, a team, troops almost helping them. They're going to kill whoever they want. They have a mission, a particular yeah. mission. They want to, what is it, purify? Like that, you know that ridiculous notion. They want to get the country back to its greatness again. Ridiculous to where it notion. Was, it ain't never happened. Even happening. though they even said in the movie itself, uh, you know, there was people here for we Caucasian people got Bing. here. So, oh, what but they don't you, care. What are you talking about? And the pure, it's funny to see people fighting for such a terrible cause, knowing that they're never going to make it happen. It's, I don't care what you say, it's not going to happen. But in this one, it's scary because you know what their mission is. And when, when somebody is that in depth with evil and talking about purifying the nation, it's getting bad. Yeah. And now you got the government in here like, wait a minute. Okay, we used to say you could do it for one day, but you can't do this. How about you should have never started it? Right. Come on. That was ridiculous to begin with. But I love the concept of this movie. I love the concept of the purge at all. I think it would be an awful thing. I don't think we'd ever do it, but I'm saying just as a movie, I love the concept of it. Let me say this. It was better than I expected it to be, mm. but I'm going to go into my anal retentive rant. Mm. Okay. If you have a forever purge, okay, the, the place is burning. There's nowhere for people to go without potentially being shot or stabbed mm -hmm. or killed in any which way or Mangled form. anything. Just, it's just fighting. It's just war on the streets everywhere. Mm -hmm. How do they expect to get more food? How do they expect to get more gas? They're going to steal it. How do they expect to have electricity? If you're killing everybody. They expect to just go like, kill people and then take care of But it's not going to last forever. Cookies. So they're, mm -hmm. they're just going to make it like like Walking Dead or something where run out of supplies. That's why it's just so ridiculous have, for people to even think that this is they're going to make this happen because like, it's You ludicrous. can't go to work like, oh, yeah. I work at the grocery store. Well, shoot, I can't go to work today because it's the forever purge. Yeah. And they're going to kill me. Like, no, <laughs> it's, I mean, like I said, it's a great concept, but when you watch it, I mean, it's really good. I really like that. There's a whole lot of action in there and it gets oh, yeah. grimy. Well, all the purges have a lot they of action. Do. I love a lot them. Of killing. I love them. Yeah. But this one was a little scary. It, it, sometimes certain things touch a little bit too close to home. When you're dealing with certain stuff, you turn on the news, you see these, uh, supremacists or whatever they want to call themselves doing all this ridiculous stuff. And it's like, dude. That's you're never going back to that time. This country is not going to let you go back into that time for us. And I always believe there's always more good people in this world than are bad. So this is just an example of the bad ones who decided, hey, let's get together and gang up, and we're going to make this our world. It's okay. A movie about like white supremacy. If that's what you over. think, you if know? that's what you think, you know. it's good. But you're going to see some good stuff in here with some uh, migrant workers and 
it kind of reminded me of that movie we watched before. Was it Beneath Us is what it was yeah. called? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, some of it reminded me a little bit of when it comes to like how people deal with immigrants, even though they're pretty much pulling, you know, all the work and doing great jobs. And then you just, you got to see this. I'm highly recommending, um, if it's not the movies, go see it. How many I, clappers would you give it? I'm going for this one. I'm going with the four. It reminds me like, like current times right now, a lot of things just start flying around in my mind with this. And we know that people will gang up and think that they're going to overtake the government. We know it because we just seen it several months ago. This is why I love this one. She I will continue there. to watch them all. And this, she went there. I went there. Okay. There's going to be another one. Something has to be done about these people. Now the government, they're not going to be basically battling the government, you know, kind of like civil war. You got to go to war with your government. They're sending in troops, but then y'all didn't blew this up and you got to see this. I'm highly recommending it. And it's really good. Yes. What about you? How many clappers would you give it? I'm going to give it three clappers. Mm -hmm. Like, like I said, mm -hmm. it was better than I expected, but mm -hmm. I didn't think it was super great, mm -hmm. but it was, it was good. I mean, it's the purge. Well, like, I remember the first one. Get. Yeah. I remember the second one when it came out was actually better than the first one. So it, you know, it, a little bit, but I liked all of them that have come out. But this one, I mean, it makes sense. After what, three purges, something, somebody's going to say, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to quit killing people after a day. I'm going to do it and you're not going to stop me. Yeah. They even it's showed in, in one of the last purges where that guy was kind of going into that. Like he, the His anger mindset. that like, yeah, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. starts to fill within them. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I want to do this all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got this and you rage. Believe. They just have the rage. Yeah, let it out. And they think, oh, in 24 hours, it's okay to do it and then it'll go away. No, but people, like you said, people are angry. You know, they're, they're watching TV, certain things on TV. And they think it's all gravy, they, but yeah, the ooh. internet, mm. this, it, this is a good one. Yeah. It's a little heavy. I mean, if you got kids, it may be a little heavy for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. there's a lot of, there's a, I there's wouldn't a recommend tad of kids at all. Yeah. there's a tad of racial epithets being thrown around a little bit. So yeah, and not just towards black people. No. I know we're black. So you just, you might, I'm not going to say either. Assume we're just talking about no, racial it was, stuff against black people, no. but no, they they hitting they hit they hard a few it, different races. Did. Yeah, and there's some stuff so. in there you just gonna be like, wow, the fact that you think some of these people yeah would even do it. I mean, some people you said oh, that's just nice. Hey, next thing you know, she got a hatchet in her hand ready to huh, little lady. I thought you were so nice, <laughs> little lady. The, but yeah, I'm saying go ahead and see it at the theater. I mean, if you have a big family, you can't make the theater. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a while before it hits Redbox because this was actually, it's still at the theaters right now and it's good, but I recommend it. Even if you're going on a date night, it's a good date night movie. Yeah. I liked it. So yeah, <laughs> you know, go ahead and see it. There, yeah. Killing during your day. You know, all my yes. good stuff. <laughs> but we want to thank you very much for tuning thank in to you. our review of The Forever Purge. Don't forget, we are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, we're on Instagram. Like, subscribe, chat with us, let us know what you want to see and we got you, all right? Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.